please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Tech for Seniors present the website of the week with Huey Poplock. I'm Huey Poplock. Today we're going to talk about the Internet Archive. The Internet Archive is a nonprofit library of millions of free books, movies, software, music, websites, and more. Brewster Kale, founder and digital librarian of the Internet Archive, is a passionate advocate for public interest access and a successful entrepreneur. Brewster Kale has spent his career intent on a singular focus, providing universal access to all knowledge. He is the founder and digital librarian of the Internet Archive, one of the largest libraries in the world. Kale is a member of the National Academy of Engineering, American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and the Internet Hall of Fame. In general, there's 70 plus unique petabytes of data that's 70 million gigabytes. 65 plus million public media items, text, movies, audio, images, and so on. 1.5 million unique website users per day. And 17,000 uploads from users per day. And this is from figures from the year 2020. The Wayback Machine, which I'm going to talk about next week, has 588 billion web pages. Archive it as 49 billion curated URLs captured in 14,000 collections. Books, there are 28 million texts in the collection, books, documents, magazines, and so on. 4.6 million books digitized by Internet Archive. 3,500 books digitized per day in 18 digitization centers worldwide. Under television, there's 2 million news programs available for closed caption search. Movies, there's 4 million movie items, not including television programs. Under audio, there's 14 million audio items, including 220,000 live music concerts from 8,000 bands. And there's 200,078 RPM sides digitized. Under software, there's 580,000 software titles, many emulatable through a web browser, and there's about 3.5 million images. You can see there are top collections at the archive, and if you scroll, you'll scroll for pages and pages. We're just going to take a snapshot of a few of them. These are top collections at the archive. We're going to choose movies for the first one. There's 83,057 items in this category. Watch full-length feature films, classic shorts, world culture documentaries, World War II propaganda, movie trailers, and films created in just 10 hours. These options are all featured in this diverse library. We're going to choose comedy films. There's 292 items in that, and I've chosen the Charlie Chaplin's Good for Nothing. When you click on it, you'll see that it is listed there with all of his movies that are available through this archive. This is the Internet Archive Radio Collection, a widely diverse and massive collection of radio station recordings, broadcast captures, and radio shows and programs and more. One of the most historically important artifacts to come from the home computer telecommunications revolution were shareware CDs, compact discs, put out by companies containing hundreds of megabytes of shareware. Some computer bulletin board services would attach banks of CD-ROM drives to their machine to allow users to access the disks, allowing the system operators or sysops to claim the BBSs had thousands of files available. My BBS was one of those. I had over eight CDs available for my users to search and download. CD makers would declare their CDs BBS ready, meaning an easily readable directory of file descriptions was located on the CDs to be read by the BBS software. The wide collection of trailers and shows, recordings and other captures on VHS tape are in this collection. The classic TV programs from the late 40s and 50s, commercials and more, titles like Your Hit Parade, The Perry Como Show, Howdy Doody, and the many westerns of the day. 
the Canadian Libraries page. Uh, the Toronto Scanning Center was established in 2004 on the campus of the University of Toronto. From its humble beginnings, Internet Archive Canada has worked with more than 250 institutions in providing their unique materials with open access and sharing these collections with the world over. From the archives of the Sisters of Service of the University of Alberta, IAC has digitized more than 600,000 unique texts as of September 2019. Here's what the Internet's Archives tabletop scribe book scanner looks like. And here is a picture of volunteers helping scan the materials. The Internet Archive. I'm Huey Poplock. <laughs>